It didn't come into existence, however, until the early part of the 20th century. At the time, President Roosevelt, in 1902, uh, an avid hunter, was out on a hunting expedition. He had been invited to hunt in Mississippi by the governor of the state. The hunting party was out in the, uh, the woods of Mississippi, and several members of the hunting party went ahead. They came upon an American black bear. They were able to wrangle the bear and tie the bear up to a tree. They went back for the president and the rest of the hunting party and asked him to come and have the honor of shooting the bear. President Roosevelt refused. He felt it was unsportsmanlike, and uh, he walked away. From the tied-up bear, uh, unfortunately, he did ask that the bear be put out of its misery, as it had already been hurt in the wrangling and tying up. A political cartoonist in the Washington Post got wind of the story and uh, created a cartoon that lampooned the president. began to spread, and a candy store owner in New York City, hearing about it, crafted a stuffed bear. If you... figured if he put it in his window, it might draw customers into his candy store. He had written to the White House asking... ...if he could use the name Teddy Bear, and it was agreed that he could.
Many customers didn't come into a store for candy, but they wanted one of these bears. And it led to he and his wife forming the Ideal Novelty and Toy Company. About the same time, a German company, hearing about the story, began crafting their own stuffed bears as well. By 1906, four years after the incident, the teddy bear had become so popular, not just with children of the time, but American women. Began to carry stuffed bears around with them. It was such a beloved toy and object. And again, as we know, it is rare to meet someone who doesn't have a story about a teddy bear from their own past or even today.